Andronicus, and say I am revenge, sent from below to join with him and right his heinous wrongs. Now I just study where they say he meet to ruminate strange plots of dire revenge. Tell him revenge is come to join with him and work confusion on his enemies. Is it your trick to make me out the door, that so my sad decrees may fly away, and all my study be to no effect? You are deceived, for see here what I mean to do in bloody lines, and what is written shall be executed. Titus, I am come to talk to thee. No, not a word. How can I grace my talk, wanting a hand to give an action? Thou hast the odds of me, therefore no more. If thou didst know me, thou wouldst talk with me. I am not mad. I know thee well enough. Witness this wretched stump, witness these crimson lines, witness these trenches made by grief and care, witness the tiring day and heavy night, witness all sorrow that I know thee for our proud Empress Tamara. Is not thy coming for my other hand? No, thou sad man, I am not Tamara. She is thine enemy and I thy friend. I am revenge, sent from the infernal kingdom to ease the gnawing vulture of thy mind by working grateful vengeance on thy foes. Come down and welcome me to this world's light. Confer with me of murder and of death. There's not a hollow cave or lurking place, no vast obscurity or misty veil where bloody murder or detested rape can couch for fear, but I will find them out and in their ear tell them my dreadful name, revenge which makes the foul offender quick. Art thou revenge? And art thou sent to me to be a torment to mine enemies? I am. Therefore come down and welcome me. Do me some service ere I come to thee. Though by thy side where rape and murder stands, now give some assurance thou art revenge. Stab them, or tear them on thy chariot wheels, and then I'll be thy wagoner, and whirl along with thee about the globes, provide thee two proper palfreys, black as jet, to hail thy swiftful wagon, swift away, and seek out murderers in their guilty caves. And when thy car is laden with their heads, I will dismount and by thy wagon wheel trot like a servile footman all day long, even from Hyperion's rising in the east until his very downfall in the sea. And day by day I'll do this heavy task, so thou destroy my pine and murder there. These are my ministers, and come with me. Are they thy ministers? What are they called? Rape and murder. Therefore call it so, cause they take vengeance on such kind of men. Good Lord, how like the Emperor's sons they are, and you the Empress. But we worldly men have miserable, mad, mistaking eyes. Oh, sweet revenge, now do I come to thee, and one arm's embracement will content thee. I will embrace thee in it by and by. <laughs> this closing with him fits his lunacy. Whate'er I forge to feed his brain-sick humors, do you uphold and maintain in your speeches. For now he firmly takes me for revenge. <laughs> and being credulous in this mad thought, I'll make him send for Lucius, his son. And whilst I, at a banquet, hold him sure, I'll find some cunning practice out of hand to scatter and disperse the giddy goths, or at the least make them his enemies. <laughs> See, here he comes. And I must fly my king. Long have I been forlorn, and all for thee. Welcome, Drip Fury, to my woeful house. Rapine and murder, and you are welcome too. Unlike the Empress sons you are. Well, are you fitted, had you but a more? <laughs> Could not all hell afford you such a devil? But well, well, I want the Empress never wags, but in a company there is a more. And were thou to serve our queen aright, it were convenient you had such a devil. But welcome as you are, what shall we do? Uh, what wouldst thou have us do, Andronicus? Show me a murderer. I'll deal with him! <laughs> Show me a thousand that have done thee wrong, and I will be revenged on them all. 
Look round about the wicked streets of Rome, and when thou findest a man that is like thyself good murder, stab him, for he's a murderer. Go now with them, and when it is thy hap to find another that is like to thee, good rapine, stab him, for he is a ravisher. <laughs> Go thou with them, and at the emperor's court there is a queen attended by all. Well shalt thou know that by thy own proportion, for up and down she doth resemble thee. I pray thee, do on them some violent death. They have been violent to me and mine. Well hast thou left them thus, this shall we do. But would it please thee, good Andronicus, to send for Lucius, thy thrice valiant son, who leads towards Rome a band of warlike Goths, and bid him come and banquet at thy house? When he is near, even at thy solemn feast, I will bring in the Empress and her sons, the Emperor himself and all thy foes, and at thy mercy shall they stoop and kneel, and on them shalt thou ease thy angry heart. What says Andronicus to this device? Marcus, my sad brother, tis sad Titus calls. <laughs> Good Marcus, gentle Marcus, go to thy nephew Lucius. Thou shalt inquire him out among the Goths. Bid him repair to me, and bring with him some of the chiefest princes of the Goths. Bid him encamp his army where they are. Tell him the emperor and the empress too feast at my house, and he shall feast with them. This do thou for my love, and so let him as he regards his aged father's life. This will I do, and so return again. Now will I hence about thy business, and take my ministers along with me. Oh, nay, 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 break the murder stay with me. Or else I'll call my brother back again and cleave to no revenge but this year. What say you, boys? Will you abide with him whilst I go tell my lord the emperor how I have governed our determined jest? Yield to his humor, smooth and speak him fair, and tarry with him till I turn again. I knew them all, though they suppose me mad, and will o'er reach them in their own devices. A pair of cursed hellhounds, and they're damned. Madam, heart of pleasure, leave us here. Farewell, Andronicus. Revenge now goes to lay a complot to betray thy foe. I know that, Gus. A sweet revenge. Farewell. <laughs> for you to do. Publius, come hither, Publius. <laughs> what of your will? Know you these two? The Empress sons, I take them. <gasps> Chiron, Demetrius. Oh, fie, fie, Publius, thou art too much deceived. This, this is murder and rape is the other's name. <laughs> and therefore, bind them, gentle Publius. <laughs> oh, have thou heard <laughs> such an hour? Ah, and ah, now I find ah, And therefore, 